爱给情啊，嗯，爱给。Thank him for his love, church. Can we just thank him for his love? Come on, just open your lips and just declare you're grateful for his love. Come on, let's thank him, church. Let's thank him for his love. The only reason that we have any love is because he first loved us. The only reason that we know what love is is because he showed us what love looks like on the cross. The only reason. We can experience love is because He first loved us. We are grateful tonight. We're grateful for Your love, Jesus. We're thankful for Your love, Jesus. Thank You for loving us, Jesus. Thank You for defining what love looks like by going to the cross for us, Jesus. Thank You that we're able to receive love because of Your blood and Your body that was given as a sacrifice. Yeah, just thank Him, church. Just continue to thank Him for His love. You know love because He became love for us on that cross. Thank you for your love, Jesus. 
love, 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 this love, 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 this love, love, I couldn't earn it, I don't deserve it, this love, 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 this love, 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 you freely gave your life for love, 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 you freely hung on the cross, you freely Again of love, yeah. Remind me once again of love. It was all for love, it was all for love. The greatest love story ever told. Oh, love, 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 love. Just gonna take a moment here, and we're just gonna intercede. We got a couple students from LSM that are going to join us this evening in our prayer moments and so I asked Tommy if he could come up we're just going to press in for a moment uh, to just break through to receive more of the love of the Father or the love of the Son Jesus if you're in the room tonight and you're just struggling to believe and receive the reality of God's great love for you uh, we're just going to pray into this for a moment and I just want you to receive that I want you to receive this breakthrough Let's pray into this, Tommy. Uh, yes, Jesus. We thank you so much for your love. We're humbled by your love. We thank you for your sacrifice. We thank you for your kindness. We are in awe of your goodness to us. We don't deserve it, yet you lavish it on us so freely. And we first of all just want to say thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you for your lavished love. Thank you that you pour it out over and over and over again. And Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we speak against any thought or high thing that would exalt itself against the knowledge of God. We tear down strongholds in the name of Jesus. We speak peace to minds in the name of Jesus. We speak joy to hearts in the name of Jesus. God, for anyone in the room who may be struggling to feel your love, I pray that you would baptize us with a fresh vision of your love. I pray that we would see the Father running from afar off. I pray that we would feel you put the ring on our finger. I pray that we would feel you put the robe on our back as you embrace us tonight. I pray that the love of the Father would embrace us tonight. We rebuke every spirit of darkness, every lying spirit that would say that we've pushed beyond your love. Let your sweet love embrace us tonight. We're so thankful. We're so thankful. We give you all the praise. We give you our lives laid down for your glory. We receive your love and we've laid down our lives for your glory. Let your love flow through to those around us, oh God. Let us be a conduit of your love, Jesus. We receive your love afresh and anew tonight, oh God. And we thank you so
are all that I need Just Jesus Just Jesus Just Jesus You are all that I need Just Jesus Just Jesus Just Jesus
You are all that I need. If I get you, I get everything. If I get you, I get everything. If I get you, I get everything. I get everything. I get everything. I get everything if I get you. I get you, I get everything. If 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 I get you, I get everything.
God, just give us Jesus. 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 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We, we're just feeling like we want to pray and press into a, an outpouring, just an outpouring, just an outpouring of the Holy Spirit that our church would experience not only a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit and revival, but more of an outpouring than we've ever experienced ever before. And that goes for everybody. You, maybe you've been a part of a ministry that you've experienced revival before, but that we in this season, in this hour, would experience an outpouring of revival unlike any of us have ever experienced before. So I'm gonna have Penelope pray, and we're just gonna press in to just ask the Lord for an outpouring, just asking the Lord for a fresh outpouring, both individually and corporately. Jesus, we want a fresh outpouring. Holy Spirit, would you come? Give us a fresh outpouring, God. Would you break us, God, for what breaks you, Father God? Would our hearts break for what breaks your heart, God? Would you come and make us more like you? Would you revive every dry place, every dead place? Would you love
for some of you who said Jesus has not been my everything there's an invitation for you to surrender your life like never before tonight come on I just want you to meet us at the altar if you say boldly and confidently that Jesus has not been my everything but tonight I'm ready to cross the line I'm ready to cross the line I'm ready to burn the ship Jesus is my everything Jesus is my earth, that's you, come on. Just join us at the altar. Join us at the altar right now, come on. I just feel like there's somebody who's like, no, I'm burning the ship, I'm burning the ship. I've got plan B, C, and D, but tonight I'm burning it all up. Jesus, you are my everything. Jesus, you are my everything. Jesus, you are my everything. Come on, if that's you, just join me in the front. Just join us at the altar. If that's you, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, if that's you. You want to give Jesus a fresh yes. You want to give Jesus a fresh yes. 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 Come on, come on, come on. and agree and intercede for something a prayer request that you have if you are sick in your body if you have pain in your body right now I want you to come up and I want you to receive prayer all right we know that our God Jesus Christ is the great physician he healed yesterday he'll heal today he's not changed he is a healer so if you need healing I want you to come up I want you to receive prayer if you are without direction in your life tonight and you just feel like, man, I need some direction. I need some help. I need a prophetic word. I need some vision. If that's you, I want you to come up and receive prayer. If you've got something going on in a relationship, you just want somebody to agree with you for breakthrough, I want you to come up and receive prayer, all right? Like, don't leave without getting prayer because I know there's plenty of us that could use a prayer partner, all right? Don't look at it like, oh, I'm in such a need, so I don't want to... Like, I don't want to be embarrassed, but just, just, it's coming up, get a prayer partner, all right? Get somebody to pray with you and intercede and agree with what the will of God is over your life, all right? So we're going to continue in worship, but if you need prayer, I want you to come up. And just like Pastor Brian said, if you just need a fresh surrender, you can come up 
up as well.
Jesus, we thank you for your presence. We're so grateful for your power in this place. We're so thankful for your ministry. What an honor and a privilege that it is, Lord, to be able to minister to you. And Lord, we wanna say thank you for ministering to us. Thank you that we are not leaving this room the same as how we walked in. Thank you for the grace of transformation. Thank you. Thank you for your hand of blessing. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for everything that you have accomplished in us. Even the things that we do not yet see, God, we know that you have gone to work in our spirits tonight and we just wanna say that we are grateful. Thank you for the work that you have done in this body, in this church. Father, we are grateful that you are orchestrating this season, this season that you've called re-season. Father, I pray for every single person that walked in here empty, that they would be refueled in the name of Jesus and that they would walk out of this sanctuary full. Surely our cup would overflow. We pray for a refueling tonight. Anybody that's fatigued and lethargic in the spirit, God, we pray for a refreshing tonight. Your word says that you are the lifter of our heads. You are the strong tower that the righteous retreat into. So we step in behind all of your defenses and we receive a cold cup of water from the hand of the King tonight. We receive a sweet refreshing from the Holy Spirit tonight. We receive that lightness, that joy, the joy of our salvation. Thank you, thank you Jesus for the cup of refreshing. And Lord, we receive revival. That's another reword. We receive revival. We receive personal revival. We receive family revival. We receive revival in our marriages. We receive revival with our children. Revival in our prayer lives, our secret lives. God, we receive revival as a body corporately in this church. We receive revival on behalf of Nashville, our city. We receive revival on behalf of Legacy Academy and LSM and Legacy Music and everything that this church touches, God, we declare revival, a release of revival over the staff, over the team, over every volunteer, over all of the children's ministry, over all of the security team and the parking ministry. We declare and proclaim revival tonight in the name of Jesus from the parking lot to the altar, from the top to the bottom, every single square inch of this ministry, God, we pray for a saturation of the spirit of revival tonight. And that even as we prepare our hearts for what you wanna do in this place on Sunday, Father, we pray for a clarion call to go out in the spirit and that every prodigal son that you have been moving upon, God, that you would bring them into this house on Sunday. Every prodigal, every backslider, every addict that's been looking for something that only you can provide, God, if you've been moving on their heart, Lord, I pray that on Sunday that you would prompt them by the power of the Holy Ghost to get in this house and get in the altar and to give their lives to you. Father, we are proclaiming supernatural miracles, signs and wonders in this house on Sunday, healings in people's bodies. Lord, we proclaim that cancer is being evicted from this body in the name of Jesus. All the reports that we've received of different people either being afflicted and freed of cancer Lord, we just declare you're the great physician and we want this to be a cancer-free zone, God. And so we declare in Jesus' name 
that you are in the business of healing cancer in this season, that cancer will not be able to exist on this property in Jesus' name. We, we declare Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Cancer, you got to go. Sickness, you got to go. All forms of cancer, you got to go. Tumors, you got to go. Insomnia, depression, anxiety, you got to go. All neurological diseases, you got to go. Healing, healing, healing is the children's bread is what you said, Lord. And so we stand on your promises tonight and we declare that this is a healed house. It's a healed house. Lord, I also just want to pray over everybody who's suffering in Nashville with church hurt and afraid to come to church and afraid of pastors and preachers and people in ministry because they've been hurt by them before. Father, I pray you do a work on a Friday night. Even if it's downtown, they may be sitting on a bar stool right now trying to drink themselves to a place of comfort. Holy Spirit, I pray you'd encounter them tonight. I pray there'd be encounters in downtown Nashville and you'd bring healing and that you'd bring them into the house. In Jesus' name. So that I, I, I pray also that you would just put the spirit of an evangelist upon each and every one of us, that we wouldn't be tolerant of knowing that there are people who are lost and far from you in our world, in our orbit, in our circle, and do nothing about it. So Lord, we contend for their souls. We cry out to you tonight for souls, for salvations. You're the Lord of the harvest. So Lord, we ask you, bring in the laborers as well as the harvest field because we wanna see everybody that you wanna see come to you and that's everybody because your desire is that everybody get saved and nobody would perish. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, church, I, I don't know about you, but I know that I'm gonna leave different than how I walked in. How about you? Um, if you don't normally go here, I realized like I didn't even introduce myself before we got started. Um, you may be different. You may be used to a different kind of church environment and that's cool. As you can tell here, we like to pray. We pray with fervor. Uh, we pray with intensity. Um, we got a history with God. That's one of the things that you'll learn about legacy is that we have a history with God. And uh, when we get together for prayer meetings like this, our goal isn't really to have a script. It's, it, we don't come with a, a big developed plan of everything we know we want to do. We just want to come in and get before the Lord and ask the Holy Spirit what He wants to do and then just participate in His plan for the night. So that's what this is. That's, that's what we do when we gather. And um, like I said, we have a history for, with the Lord. So we just want to draw upon that secret history that we have with Jesus and pray from that place of knowing that He is good and that He is powerful. So... I, I pray that each and every one of you are leaving here with the blessing. Are you leaving here with the blessing? If you're leaving here with the blessing, say, that's me. that's me. Awesome. Well, if you don't mind, let's just stand up. I'm going to close uh, with just blessing you guys and just declaring that all of the benefits of the cross that you would receive and, and walk out a lifestyle of a beneficiary of the cross. Just, just tired of living on less than my full inheritance. How about you? Come on. Jesus paid it all. So Lord, I, I, I pray and I bless our family, our friends, that they would live a lifestyle of a full inheritance. Man, I like the way that sounds. A full inheritance. A full inheritance. Full inheritance. I bless you with joy. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. I bless you with it tonight in the name of Jesus. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. I declare over you tonight life and life abundantly. I declare over you tonight big thinking. I, I declare over you tonight a spirit of revelation and a spirit of wisdom in the knowledge of Christ Jesus. I declare over you tonight a hunger for the Word of God that you would have an insatiable craving for the Word of God unlike anything you've ever experienced. I pray that you would be agitated when you don't read the Bible. I, I pray that you would be uncomfortable 
if a day would go by and you don't experience the presence of God. I pray for dreams for you in the night season that there would be visitations and that there would be words from the Lord that would come to you in the night season. I pray for encounters. I pray for supernatural encounters. I pray that you would just have visions of the Lord, visions of Jesus, visions with Jesus. I pray that your ears would be open to the Spirit of God and that you would not be conflicted about whether or not Jesus is speaking to you, but that you would move with swift obedience and confidence, knowing that it's the voice of the Lord that is revealing His will to your spirit. I, I pray over your eyes that the scales would fall off of your eyes. For anybody who's not been able to see properly, God, that you would heal their eyes, both in the natural and in the spirit, God, and that they would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I, I pray over your cupboards that they would be stocked full. I pray for the deliverance of a lack mindset, that there would not be a mindset of scarcity in this house, but there would be a mindset of abundance. Father, I pray for creative ingenuity and ideas. If you're an entrepreneur, I pray for wisdom and for dreams and for understanding of how to bring wealth into your house and the storehouse. So, Father, we declare tonight a prophetic anointing is resting upon this body that we will never lack for a prophetic oil, that we will walk in the heavy anointing of Jesus in power and that we will heal the sick, that we will raise the dead, that we will cast out demons, that we will cleanse lepers, that we will speak with new tongues, that we will preach the gospel and that we will see all the benefits of our full in inheritance just say it with me say I'm living in a full inheritance <laughs> amen I would have you just took that seriously I'm talking you just woke up tomorrow and as soon as your feet hit the ground you just had a little pep in your step you just danced on the way to you put your pop tarts in the toaster you know what I'm saying? You just moved a little different tomorrow. Somebody had to ask you, why are you smiling so much? What's the deal? What's going on with you? Why do you seem so happy? And you can confess, it's the joy of the Lord, man. What if you just took that seriously? A full inheritance. A full inheritance. Say, I'm living in a full inheritance. Come on, just find a few people. Give them a hug. Give them a high five, something. And tell them, tell them the full inheritance is yours. We love y'all. We'll see you on Sunday. Invite somebody. Pull them into the house if you got it. Don't matter what it takes. Get them in here in Jesus' name. Full inheritance.